what <clears throat> what is up with all these ESTJs acting like false prophets? I'm gonna call this the EST false prophet. Uh, I'm gonna call this the ESTJ false prophet syndrome because it's starting to become a pattern. <laughs> Hey, Victoria here. You're in bed with an INFJ. Um, on the inside <laughs> of her practice. Yeah, and with the good, with the good of being an INFJ. I, I, <laughs> I can't stress it enough. And how, um, man, like to getting good standing as an INFJ and I believe as any type, it's doing the work. It's, it's doing the inner work. I can't stress that enough. <laughs> that's how I feel about it. And that's been what's motivated me to, to come on, um, because, like I said in my last video, man, we have, like, what a clearing that has been made um, for us from this past year to, uh, like, come forth and be leaders, as I see it. Like, be leaders. <laughs> Iron of Chase, wow, I think that's it. Like, help people to get real and good and true and like acting from a place of knowing themselves really well and like knowing knowing themselves knowing our ourselves um like what our tendencies are I, like when we close, what triggers us, um, how to like get along <laughs> better and do things better. <laughs> um, and like remain in connection through it all, you know, remain in connection through it all and and see the bigger picture yeah I, I, infjs right i'll keep coming back to this we're seeing the patterns under the patterns under the patterns we're like yo what's really going on like what actually like let me pull that frontal personality away and see like what really is happening what are you doing come on silly <laughs> not only right out towards others but towards ourself like when INFJs can get, can like come to a wonderful humor towards themselves, <laughs> um, not taking themselves so seriously. Yeah. And, um, and allow their, their feelings to, to be here and not just be here, but like, hmm, you know, I'll speak for myself here is I have found that working, you know, working on like how I'm feeling right internally has been huge on helping me to relax and and be with others from a less um, like pressurized place or like an easily triggered place cuz what I've what I've noticed And I've spoken about this in, in some last videos and I want to dive in deeper with it is, um, 
the NITI loop and how I can get caught in it, it, it and, and before this, this particularly like this this comes online I see this being played out in my intimate relationships like right now in my relationship with my partner um and also how it how it's you know played out with um my family as well my sisters and a few close close friends um and how i get stuck in the past right so these patterns like these things that i notice that are being you know played out by by others i skip over what's happening in the present i skip over feeling the other right now in the present and i stay latched to some past thing that was playing out right and I think you you might be able to like get what I'm saying um, if you feel into like family and childhood dynamics that just continue to play out <laughs> these patterns and it's like god damn whenever I go to you know a holiday event with my family like this thing always happens um or I always end up feeling this way yeah right and that's like the patterns that are continuing to be played out right so i find that words become really important uh for an infj because Often through, you know, the words, we can get into what's really, like, where the person really is, like, feeling them through the words. And what I notice with, with my partner is, you know, he, he, um, I'll give an example. He's, he's in this, um, uh, program right right now he's making art for it and 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 um and it's a it's like an awakening program um and you know so while he's making art in it kind of as part of not staff but this doesn't matter these these details don't matter <laughs> Um, he's, I don't think they do, but he, he's been sharing with me the, about the mo a module and how impactful it's been for him. And I see that he's using words that he's used in the past. And then I'm finding that I'm then hooking into not the feeling state of him in the very moment that I, I end up like going out of that to the past and and like losing contact with the very present and then